ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Your Skin is an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today we're going to be checking out the Soulless Project. Now, I tried to actually play this game with the VR headset, but it does require the PlayStation Move controllers to go along with it for VR. So this will be a first look at Soulless, I suppose, without VR, and it's just going to be me, Pad, TV, and you guys actually here and enjoying it with me. But uh, it's going to be... I'm going to come back to this with the VR headset at a later point because it looks like the kind of thing that you really should get into with VR. And the only reason why is because I actually only have one move controller that's working at the moment, so I have to actually get a second one before I can actually play it properly. Um, I wish it was one of those games you could play with just the pad or a pad and a Wii controller. That might have been a great idea. One thing I don't understand why they haven't done is because you, I know the Wii, the, the move controller is... A much better tracking light because it's got a big globe that can track its movement and stuff and where it is but um should there not be some kind of basic functionality for being able to use a ordinary ps4 controller in each hand because a lot of people actually will have two of those and actually just because a lot of the buttons will be able to you know you can hold one of these pads with one hand if you're not being a bit ridiculous with it but um I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a, it's a thought for developers in the future to actually do with their um, VR games. To actually give a couple of varieties of choices because um, it doesn't change all that much about what they do. <laughs> oh, God. The guys in the chat are actually saying hi to you as well, so make sure to hey, say hi back to them whenever you feel like. I'm pretty sure the guys have their own channels, but... Um, <laughs> don't, don't be advertising. Don't be advertising my stream. Go and advertise in your own streams. That's fine. Hey, in fact, if you do want to advertise, you can do it via the method that you use in <coughs> Twitch by spending your badass three points from coming to watch the live streams of these, and you can actually have your message pop up on screen right there while I'm in the middle of gameplay. So essentially, it's your way of advertising by using your eyeballs. <laughs> you give me, you give me your time. I'll let you say whatever you want. Let's take a look at the controls here. Um, music, ambient, volume, all that stuff. Subtitles. Female voice. I'm on board with this. So you can actually have a female protagonist. Works for me. That's okay. Uh, if I have the choice to play a girl, I will always play the girl. Visual helpers. Oh, day and night cycle. Wow. Okay. I'm liking the extra little change. Speed run timer. Wow. This is actually a lot more stuff that I would normally see in a game like this. So this, for doing a speed run of Solus Project, you can actually bring it up on screen. This is pretty cool. Like for little little changes like that, that is actually smart and useful, kind of like little intuitive uh, improvements over what we'd see in games. I mean, like, this is just this is just for like visual comfort for people who are playing from different places. Um, Day and night cycle is something that I'm really surprised they don't like. They have don't have it on by default, and. Um, Speed run timer, like that's something that you would only see for people. Like they're expecting people to play this over and over again for a better run time, and I'm interested to see what this is going to be that does that. Uh, drop item, teleport, pick up, eat, activate, force update, uh, or force up PDA. <laughs> all right. Uh, holster item, crouch, jump, uh, pick up and eat. So that all works the same way. Forward movement, rotate, player stats. Okay. So, um, yeah, I imagine there's actually two very different types of gameplay for this, if you're actually going to be playing through Solus. Oh, didn't mean to go into that twice. Um, yeah, let's jump into a new game and see what the crack is with this. Can I speedrun this game in 20 minutes? <laughs> I've never played it before in my life! Um, I don't know what the record for it actually is. If the record is 20 minutes, then that'd be kind of impressive. Oh, I do like this. This is a day night cycle, it actually uses a show transition happening, planets flying by. It's a, uh, even if this is a pre render thing, it actually, it's a great load screen. There's a, having a little bit of motion on your load screen is probably, it's the only way to get around the fact that if you have particularly long ones. Ah, uh, some beautiful starry nights, uh, fucking sky skybox going on there. We've got one of our actual viewers in the channel actually having like uh, dizzy, dizzy spells while watching the show. I'm sorry that I am actually that glorious that you're actually getting dizzy spells, but please do call call a parent and call a doctor. In the year 2115, scientists identified a rogue class B star traveling towards us, Earth and the solar system which could be destroyed. The Prolus ship was launched in 2149. Three giant colony ships were carried thousands of the safe zone. I had no time to read that. Our last chance at survival is known as the Solus Project. Okay, 
So in 2145? Hmm. That's not too long. That's not too long. I, I can, I can accept the world's going to end in the next hundred or so years. Fifteen years later, mission TSP-3 arrives at Gleese 6143, Calvin. See, I don't know. Well, do know some kind of atmosphere. We're all alone, more or less. Let me fly far away from here. Sun, sun, sun. In the sun. Oh, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Want to lie, shipwreck, and comatose, drinking fresh mango juice. Anybody who's not a Red Dwarf fan may not get that reference. <laughs> Damn! We came into orbit when the bugs attacked. Well. Uh, Oh shit, was that the entire survival ship? And you're the only one left? Octavius skin? Or Octavia skin? Uh, they're both an environmental. Let's say I'm, we're going with the. We're, as long as you can play as a female, I'm gonna play as a female. Oh man, I want to play this in VR so bad. Can you hear me? Oh god, this sucks so bad. Did anyone make it to the drop pods? Amon, Lars, is anyone there? Ow. That did not sound like that did not sound like you came to stop with a, any form of like slowdown at all. Uh, that was like that's a rock skipping off the roof surface of a planet. Yes, I have drank that much water that I've actually made myself sick. In fact, you can actually in fact kill yourself by drinking water, but you have to like drink like, like what, five liters in less than thirty seconds. Okay, obviously shit has gone wrong. Um, we are barely uh, conscious and there are blinking lights in the dash in front of us. I want to play this so bad in VR. Need the controllers. This need this needs to be this, this is a game that deserves a good VR experience because you'd be immersed in it. So disappointed. I suppose I could still play it in VR, but I wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't actually have the full range of view, I'd be just playing on a small screen. Horrifying that we land on this planet all alone, but that is a beautiful sight. That is truly a beautiful sight. Ow! Oh, I feel very groggy. Why did my glass repair itself? Alright, so at least I have a controller up. World independent local survival overseer node active. Wilson interfacing with operator. Operator vital signs detected. That's good news. Okay. Alright, this is the fact that looking at it is going like heavy multi use. Can be cut. Alright, so I need a tool. What I, I need to cut with something? I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna cut, cut over a rock, am I?
Yeah, I'm not gonna cut it with a rock. Pretty sure I wasn't gonna be cutting it with a rock. Um, hmm. We need to find a knife. Something to cut with. That would be helpful. Wait, what? I can see stuff over there. Okay. So literally we're gonna find stuff on the floors and use it to get ourselves out of situations. Now, I don't know how to use rock on rock. Maybe if I use rock. Is rock one decided to smash rock two? Aha! So it's all about crafting. Ah, oh, wait, oh, wait, aha. Uh -huh. wait, wait, no, no, what? Oh, right. So I needed a pointy rock, okay. <laughs> so I end up using a rock on a rock to make a pointy rock, and now that I have a pointy rock, I can actually now use it to make other things. Makes sense. Scavenge whatever useful items you can find before conditions worsen. Alright, oh, okay. Essentially, this is just a survival handbook. Good news. Find all the things, pick up all the things, use all the things. Pointy stick! Tin can! More notes. Slacker scientists? What? <laughs> It's essentially like somebody's got a low opinion of themselves actually as a scientist. Dude, if you're in space, you do not have to give a fuck about what anybody thinks of you anymore. If anybody questions you, are like, oh, well, uh, they think we're slacker scientists. Like, no, motherfucker, I've been in space. I went to space. You know, the place that's not Earth. <laughs> if you haven't been to space, you don't get to say anything. Also, why the fuck are they at the Giant's Causeway? I'm just saying. Kind of weird that they, got, they literally flew halfway across the galaxy and end up at the Giant's Causeway. It looks too much like home. Ow! 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 A sleep to... What? Ow! Well, I'm gonna, at least I have a pipe. No, pick that back up. Please follow survival training. All right, find a place to take shelter. That we can do. Flames. Oh, where's supposed to pick up? I need to report back to Prolis Command somehow. Better have a look around and see if anyone or anything made it. I'm also going to take some food with me. Okay. Find a place to sleep, that's a good sign. Huh, ah, good. Uh, yeah. Drink from a fresh water source. Well, that was good. What was next after drinking water and food? Did you tell me what else to do? Oh. There's a couple of water sources here. What's this? It's full. Alright, we can move into this cave. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I should probably have a light in here of some sort. Oh, wait, shit, cool. I am going to fill these water bottles. Hmm. 
Alright, so I still got planning here. Well, let's go for a walk with the water balls. I'm pretty sure once we've gone to for a downer, we'll be safe and sound. There's not a possibility we're gonna run into anything! It's got some food, but I already had some food. Pipe and roots? Okay. Assuming I have to actually take a pipe. Some roots. Craft. Have a torch! Ha ha! Look at oil, right. So oil, 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 uh huh. I don't know what's fine. Alright, well that's useful. How do I like the porch? Uh-huh. Need the bottom of the thing, there's a fire source. Oh, wow! Alright, wow, that's a bit of a fucked up way to light anything. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Set fire to all the forests! It basically taught me to have water, it taught me to have food, and an antenna? Okay. Solus 3, this is Prolus Command, calling from Deck 50 of Capital Ship Opez near Pluto. Checking in for a status update. We received jumbled emergency readings from the satellite relay right before your designated landing time. Is everything okay? You're no! Nothing is okay! Okay, so 15 years before anybody's gonna be here? Shit. Uh. 15 years of waiting alone? No. Uh, okay. Rip. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? I am so glad I jumped over the fuck that. Fuckers. Son of a bitch! They could have fucking eaten me! Okay, so what do I do now? Wander? Find some shit? I could go back into the cave and find out where that leads to because it would seem to be like a hole at the back of the cave that I could have just crawled into. Uh, maybe I could just crawl in there and uh, maybe let myself die and uh, you know, uh, just kind of like let the worm in. Did not know this game was actually one of those like crafting survival long play games. Um, hmm. Jesus Christ. Well, as long as I can take that while I'm at it. What these giant Venus flytraps actually do? Parts of my ship, goddamn everywhere. Ooh, interesting. Beacons, med pack, backpack, glow sticks. Ooh, that'll be useful. Mark a location. What else was in there? Another beacon, another med pack, two med packs, a backpack. Alright, I need a backpack. Backpack would be damn useful to have. Been I inferred when I'm walking around here. Oh, so it uh, looks like someone beaconing. What the fuck? What? Ooh. That was useful. My very first secret? Oh, wow! Uh, not liking this. 
Also, the fact that it's getting dark while I'm done here. God damn it. Find any things that are around here? Right. Um, how am I going to get into that cave? Essentially, that's obviously what's marking me to get into, but I'm trying to figure out how I would get into it. Is there a way around? That's cool, though. I actually do love the skybox. Skybox looks glorious. Um, yeah, looking around this, I'm trying to imagine how I would be playing this as VR in VR with the motion controllers. Like this is a game that looks like it's designed to be played with a gamepad while wearing a headset. Oh shit! Nope. Nope. Oh, damn. I dropped. There it is. So, how do I... Oh, what? Fallen. What did I find in here? Damn! Sweet. Oh, are you goddamn serious? Jesus Christ. Okay, um. Well, sharp jump. Fuck you. I can't stack. Uh, I can't stack, but it's just like that. I can only carry 12 objects at a time. Get the fuck out of my hand. So, that makes a little bit more sense. I've survived now. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Reminder, locate materials for satellite uplink. Yeah, looking for materials for a satellite uplink, so assuming that was what some of the thing I had, the teleporter and all that I just picked up. But I don't know what the fuck it does, so I'm not gonna drop it anytime soon, so now I've got my pockets guaranteed to be full. Maybe we should go back oh whoa whoa. So I have to worry about body temperature and shit now as well? Damn! Ah, uh, rain? Uh, screw that, we're going back to the cave. 
Let me go back to the cave. Gotta get back to the cave. I can't breathe. Gotta get back to the cave. I can't breathe. So if I drop you here, I'd like you out. Definitely can't get through that gap, but it's kind of useful to have. Right, so how do I sleep? I decide to sleep. Sleeping using save your shrines or when changing levels. Sleeping recovers health the longer and better you sleep. The more health recovered, the quality and ability to sleep is affected by the climate and conditions over which you are sleeping. Time progresses during your sleep. You can die if you can die if you sleep in an unsafe location and when when your stats are low. Damn. Uh, oh, so the fleet is so it actually gives you the time how long it is until they arrive. Oh, dude, that is awful. That is a horrible, horrible feeling. I'm gonna sleep for eight hours. We can't sleep while crouching? What? Well, at least I can sleep in this cave comfortably enough. <laughs> this is crazy. What, brah? Finish my snoozy snooze. I'm okay now. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna pick up my torch. We dawn it there. No, it is pitch fucking black. Oh no, it's daytime. Sweet. Daytime? Daytime! Daytime? Daytime! I don't need a rock. Got my disc. I can teleport wherever the fuck I like. Like this. Wah! 
Yeah. Alright, so that's useful. That's going to get me into places. I can use this to get into that uh, cave anyway. Is that a light flashing out over there? Ooh. There's obviously stuff on the other side of the planet that I can't get to right now. What I need is to make is a trebuchet, and then I can launch this thing. Oh, shit. More tin cans and stuff. Oh, I'll take some water with me while I'm at it. Oh, mm, shit. That's right. Uh... Huh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the cave, fill these bottles, and then leave a couple there in the cave for me to come back to if needed. I'm going to set a beacon to here as well. Isn't that a good idea? So, uh, beacon. Uh, L2 to drop. So, beacon. There we go. And I'm going to take these bottles. Fill these bitches up. Boom. Bottle. Up. Um. I always, I always have water here, so I don't really need to take anymore. So. <coughs> Might just drop a couple balls here, maybe, just for the fact that I don't need that many of them. Drop. And another one. Drop. There we go. Just so I can have some pocket space. And I'll okay, I might as well have a bite to eat while I'm out of here. I don't really care about trashing around the place, so I'm just gonna throw a can down on the floor whenever we go by. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Teleportation. At least I'm going to continue on towards this cave and try and make my way out of here. I run into someone that actually can kill me. I think the only thing that's going to kill me for the first while on this is just going to be my own idiocy. You know what cave here? Ooh. Oh, man. This looks like I could end up dying in here easily enough. Well, it is, an, it is another cave. Much bigger space than the other cave, but doesn't have water. That's the only problem. Ooh, what's this? Rooflessness of minority. Well, cool. That actually allows me to survive a little bit better. If I keep on finding stuff like that around the place, I'll be happy as Larry. Uh, I can't go in that way. Although, can I possibly find another way into that cave through here? Nah, no way. Really? Interesting. I could teleport my way in, but I can just walk my way in? Holy shit! Fuck's this? Uh. Shit, should I have done that? Ooh, what's this? Movement speed is up. Sweet! So every single time I'm going to find stuff like this, it's going to help me get around it a little bit better. Ooh. Um. That turned around, but I don't know what it does. Can I use something with it, possibly? Eh, either way. Can't teleport myself in there, can I? I, was, I tried it with the other gate, but I'm gonna try it again. Oh. Nah. Oh, balls. Can you get used to this? Yeah, well, all I can do is just Anyway, pick you up. I need a better light source than this goddamn torch. I need something like a headlamp of some sort. That'd be the better idea. Um. Anyway, can't go any further from in here, so uh, let's go and we give a walk around here. Uh, I can't fit out through this, can I? No. Well, we'll continue on towards the cave that we're originally meant to be going to, because I can't really go anywhere further from here. That was the thing I found. Yeah, let's go outside. Right, so where are we going? No. Wait, huh? Oh, that's that beacon. I'm looking for this beacon here, the forward vector. 
Uh, so let's switch across to our teleporter. Yay! Should I sit night in the summer sun? Ugh. Am I slowly cooking myself? Stick. If I can get a glow stick, that would actually make me a lot happier. A lot of shit just drain around here. Should have probably did a proper investigation around here whenever I was here the last time, but eh, survive. Well, let's take a look, see if we can get in here. Boom! Whoop! Happy days! Did it. Sweet. So, oh, am I running out of firewood on this thing? hold on to that that's weird do you think about it I actually was meant to hold on to that rock so I'd have someone to cut with <sighs> crazy long to have this torch be fine it is a bit minecrafty it's a it feels a lot less minecrafty and more um daisy ish I suppose or Something else, um, ne you know, No Man's Sky. But then No Man's Sky was a lot more resource heavy. This is actually kind of like a survival heavy kind of thing. I, I thought this was going to be a little bit more of a walkathon. I don't like, never have been a big fan of, you know, like dehydration and hunger meters and stuff. They just don't seem to, they don't take into consideration the fact that, you know, like, if you've gone so far, it makes, you, it makes you meticulous about stopping along absolutely everything rather than actually being involved in the plot and moving forward. So thankfully this wasn't too bad. As soon as I saw that I had, as soon as I saw that bit crashing, I'm going like, right, obviously that's a setup key event. I've wandered far enough for this to happen. So at least now I can actually travel through. Hmm. Hmm. Long load types. Hmm. So, like uh, Fall Fallout, I'm imagining anytime there's one of these screens, it actually like it saves the game, so that if you had the if you died, you come back to this point. Which um, all right. I was sort of wondering if it was going to actually let me have the torch still. Cool. So we really are just kind of delving into the caverns underneath. What? I thought that was a, I thought that was a beetle shell of some sort. Our way is this way. Oh wow. Um, do we not want to throw that down? Oh wait, someone over there. Get him over there in some way, shape, form. All right. Requires rope. Ah, so I would be able to repel down if I had the rope. Okay. I can see light over the other side, so I'm going to lap back around, so it might actually be on the other side that I might find the rope. Oh, god, we're... Do you know one of the things about this that I don't like? I've never been a fan of Spelunky, neither. Never, I never liked the idea of like being in tight and close spaces. Do you... Uh... Spelunking fans of... Uh, Spelunking fans of friends, people who I know who would be into Spelunking. You might enjoy the shit out of this, just for the fact that it's actually taking you into your little favorite cave spaces. But for me, it feels entirely too uncomfortable. I need a rope to get down further, but I can. I can I, there's no rope here. How was I meant to know that I needed a rope before coming down here? So, uh, oh. Here's some. 
myself well hydrated. Only 62% hydrated? Come on! He's have the sharp rock knife if I need to cut off a little bit more vines to make another torch. Jesus! Do not make the room fucking rumble, you son of a bitch. Alright, that is a drop and a half. I don't want to go down there. Oh shit, there's actually a natural light in this cave? I thought this was actually a way out. Um, shit, what is that? What kind of rock is that? Can I take some of that rock with me? See, I can't even touch that rock, so I'm assuming it's just going to be a light source. Okay, let's see if we look into this part here. Again, with exploratory stuff going on here, I'm essentially looking at that going like, right. Obviously you've got their light there, but if I took a look behind the light, they're going to be m more stuff. Ooh, ooh, shit. Well, there seems to be at least a water path that comes along here. Are meant for experienced players. Uh, pfft. Well, um... I'm not an experienced explorer, so I'm gonna, you know, come back at a later point for that secret cave. Hey, rock piles! I was going to point out the fact that, yeah, you know, um, people died here. Uh, these are eggs. Eggs are not good. Uh, this is literally how we end up with, like, the alien movie. Um. Uh. Why do I have to walk through an egg nest? Eggs mean people, people mean, well not mean people, but mean creatures. Creatures mean uh, shitty things are going to happen to me at some point. Go stick! Boom! There we go. To be honest, I think I should prefer the torch with the light crystal. What the fuck is this? Okay. Well, that's progress saved. Press ahead and find the source of the sun. Really, do I have to? Relics of something or other? Okay. Uh, um, hmm. So obviously I lit a couple of candles. Don't know where the candles are coming from on a planet that never had any people on it. Wh who taught them to use tallow? Okay. Huh. According to this, it said that some places the water rises and falls with the tide, which is uh, interesting. So, we might not be able to get back in here at some other point. Like crystals again. Nasty yellow color of everything. I'm assuming I'm going to get flooded in here. Um. Nope, there's cobwebs. That's a good sign. It means it doesn't flood. Okay. Oh. The campfire. 
Oh shit. Um crap. So pick up. Uh oh two. sense. So much stuff here. Alright, ignite the things that are meant to be ignited. Handles. What is this shit? Food? Alright. I hate that. Anyway, nom 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 nom. And then all of them, nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. And nom nom. Alright, I might just grab myself a little drink of water while I'm at it. <sighs> yep. That feels good. I feel so much better. Right, so where's the water? Maybe a water supply here. Look at those empty bottles filled. See a spot. There's a plant. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So, how long have we been awake for? I can't even tell where I'm in this cave. Caverns. Isn't it meant to have something on the inside of it? Is that why it didn't move anymore? Yeah, we'll go investigating. Try to find the sign, so let's go to the sign. Yeah, yeah, this is the way we're meant to go. Cool. Creepy. But cool. Very, very thin stock tights. Uh. little bits and pieces that actually are kind of like very slowly increasing my resistances to stuff. I mean, she's taking it all in the stride that there seems to be a whole society here. Yeah, unlocks things. Oh, right. That makes sense. Then the object there opens another door. Let's go get a quick look in here, see if there's anything of interest. Ah, 
And it's just the fact that I get nosy because I see a give. Oh, shit. Oh, alright. There's actually a kid that they can take a wander in here. Me anywhere, just to me on a lap. Ah, come on. There we go. Get to the gap. Oh, food. Going up. Some of that. Flying freeze. Whoa! What the fuck is that? Alright, first jump scare of the game was a little fuzzy spike ball. Get the fuck! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! See me? Hmm. Wow, a light crystal that actually takes away heat? More humid? Hmm. Might be useful to actually kind of like warm myself up, dry myself off. Uh, this one actually increases humidity? Is it? Yeah, that was thinking. Is this to dry off, I suppose? <sighs> I think I actually prefer my torch. Bastards. What's this? More crystal? Okay. Well, light crystals are going to be useful, so hold on to them. Across the pool of tidal water? Game creations. It really doesn't. This looks like it was human creation. Can I lower myself down? Or am I gonna just drop? Counterintuitive! Make me feel a little bit nauseous, even though I am actually not in VR right now. 
Alright, so we're, this is an alien prison. That's what this is. There's an alien ship parked somewhere inside this planet, and this is this goddamn prison. And why? What? The trail leading me down this way. Why in other gods would I go down this way if there's a trail leading me to it? X there. No, don't go anywhere in the near X. Back off! Poser. Night. So, well, this is obviously taking me lower into the damn place, but I'm. Whoa! What the fuck? Traps down here now as well. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a buff? Okay. some kind of weird dungeon crawler game now? Actually, hit that switch so the gate would open that I would need to go into. We can only hope. Objective reminder: locate materials for satellite uplink. Shut up. something give light and life to people below okay fine we're getting into our Egyptian myths here some point but this is not where I need to be right now. of the travelers. Alright. Kind of impressed that it doesn't manage to transit it that quickly. Uh, so, right. There was that way and that way that I've already done. This way hasn't opened a door yet because I thought that was the switch that was going to do it. So, obviously we're left down to this path with the X. Right. Fun times. Genuinely fucked up. Why? Why is there bear traps? An alien. Uh, led them down the stairs. They went into his ark and became one with him. All right, friend. Right. There we go. Button press. 
Does that get me back up again? So far, all I've got to do are like four traps. There we go. Alright, so explore the lower section. Show me. Inventory full. What is that? Alien item can be filled. Needs alien food. The empty pack. Inventory full. Oh, okay. Um. I'm taking that pack with me. Um, kind of thinking, is there anything else I can drop? Oh, I can. Uh, I want to drop a bull, but I will drop a bull. The fact that. There we go. Go. Drop it. Take that. Now, what a feeling these crystals are going to be more useful than I think they are. Or less useful than I think they are. If I see any more alien food, I know what I can at least beat it with. Nothing in that one. Is there like I've got a feeling that some of this is randomly generated. Uh I didn't lift a rock because I'm afraid of what this fucking thing is. Okay. What is this? You use it. Dehydration what it does okay that way you can actually store multiple uh, things of alien food and it restores health oh wait, hang on we need to uh, refill these water bottles okay oh there's a water supply as well Travelers too. All right, sweet. What was over here? Is this literally just a path that takes me straight up to the top floor that I could have taken instead? Yes, it is. It is. Uh, lead to Rome. Why there's so many rocks here? Yeah, scan all the things. Sages speak of a world before this one, a world that was our home, where we worked the fields under the sun. Alright, calling it now. This is where the humans came. We're actually well, well past time. The message we're receiving from satellites is from long, long ago. Something horrible happened. We actually are, in fact, millions of years late. A journey across the black ocean of stars, we ventured down to the cortex of days to reach our new home, Galilea. 
These are the world before this one. The world that was our home, where we worked the fields and under the sun. Yeah. Wait, what? That's exactly the same thing I just read. One day, the heavens' warmth and life became poison. Its celestial wrath, our lands barren. We were forsaken until the coming of the Sky Ones. Yep. It was Earth all along! Adar Sum. Cool. <laughs> that island is a prison! Yes, the whole thing is a damn prison. I said, that's what I said, it's an alien prison. The whole place was. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna really stand on that switch, aren't I? <laughs> no. No, I'm not standing on the fucking switch. Yes, I can see the picture. No need for you to scan it. Hey, more stuff to open. And uh, nothing inside them, of course. Another empty pack. I don't need another one of these. Nope. Nope. Lots of empty shit. Uh, you're gonna make me stand on it, aren't you? Oh, for stand here and watch it a bloody open too. Red. says a me. Oh, oh, milestone number three, Passage of the Travelers. All right, we're nearly there. Okay. Movable platforms that carry you from place to place. Big Lord that told you what to do. The Sky Peoples went underground, for that was their home. The Sky Ones went underground because that was their home. Why do you call them the Sky Ones if they live underground? Oh, sweet. Whoop whoop! Fuck you! Combat is coming. You know, I need to be able to craft it so I can actually put... Oh, no, it doesn't. It's actually making me put the swords out of some of Is a lever? Pull the lever! Uh, it okay? in that pool of water. Don't want to know. Motherfucking traps. This planet isn't as untouched as I thought. I need to report back. You're... I need to record this. You're only Please mentioning this? Record. No. This is Octavia Sken, environmental analyst with the Solus 3 detachment on Glier 6143C. 
Once in orbit around the planet, our ship collided with an unidentified object. I think I might be the only survivor. I landed on an archipelago. Lots of rock and tough flora. As far as the eye can see is shimmering ocean. The atmosphere seems habitable, but it might be volatile. I'll keep gathering data. I just followed a strange sound after the crash, which led me into a series of caves. And there's more than just geology and dripping water down here. There are signs of civilization, carvings, mechanisms, buildings. We are not the first beings here. I found a skeleton, a humanoid skeleton, with a strange, elongated skull. I don't know what to make of it. Its skeletal structure is so similar to ours. I need to keep going. I'll see if I can find a way to link with the satellite and submit my data. Scan out. So, I completely passed over the fact that we just found a skeleton. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. A goddamn skeleton. I'm... I'm... I'm I do like that goes to show what video games are like. Oh, skeleton! I right, need to pull the sword out of that. Didn't think about the fact that look at the damn thing. In any way, shape, or form, or the fact that it was a skelly man. That's the problem of actually playing video games for your entire life. Going, like, oh, alright, that's the next objective. That's the next objective. Now, moving on without actually paying attention to what the fuck the thing is just in front of you. What the fuck? Fuck you! Fuck off! Ugh. Motherfucker! Fuck you! All that! <coughs> Son of a bitch! That looks like it could have been the first place I could have actually died. like somebody. That was weird! Well, thanks very much for joining us, JP. We're going to keep on playing for an hour well and probably finish up with uh, Solus Project. If I die within the next 5-10 minutes, I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of combat nearby soon. But um, I'm intrigued by the actual place. This, so, this looks a... Uh, this looks like an interesting game, and I really want to be playing it in VR, so I might actually have to cut it short after we kind of like get back to the surface, I suppose. Because I, I want to actually be able to enjoy this properly in a full VR experience rather than actually kind of run through it the way it is now. Because that screams and noises and all the nervousnessy stuff, that, that actually would have been more interesting with um, me being trapped inside the machine with it. The adventure continues. See, the load screens are a bit of a killer in this. They really do take too long. Bam! The daylight, the time, the passes. I, that's the thing, I went down to that cave and didn't sleep once, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't a smart move to sleep, I imagine. That would be the dangerous thing to do. Oh, we're still in the caves. I thought we were going to be out. Ah, uh, fine. At least we're almost on the way out. That stairs for us. I heard a guy screaming the last time, so I wonder what's going on here. Hey, it's water. You know what? I'm going to have a drink of that. Drink of that. Boom! Problem solved. 
Keep yourself hydrated, man. That's how you can stay nice and fit and fast. Tip points. So we're back out on the surface again. Which is nice. Oh, we're completely separate from where we were previously. Oh, dude, is that like a windmill? Huh. Isn't I... ah, that, that's where my beacon is over there. 101 meters away, so it's not that far away. This, oh, this is more than normal plant life. Plenty plants. I was hungry. I'd have the plants, but I'm grabbing. Um. Hmm. Oh wait, isn't this? Heels from our elders' tongues speak of working the land high above the sea, sleeping beneath the sun and star. But Utataco and the enlightened withdraw beneath the surface to the domain of the sky one. All right. Well. I'm gonna keep following these vectors straight. Oh, stuff. It's not, oh, wait. Dude. We're literally back to where we started? Really? You came down here instead. What happens if I had gone here instead and started climbing up into the caves backwards? Somebody else's crash diary? Who else was here? Not to do what good it will do, but I'll try to establish a comms in Corpolis. The satellite probe in orbit can serve as a communications relay, but I have to scavenge some parts so I can send a signal from the surface. I wonder how the other ships fare. Damn! Okay. So this was another crash here. I was wondering if I'd come back to the same place. This is actually another person who crashed. What was in here, dude? Beacons, med backpack, lighter, flashlight. Whew! That would be actually a lot of useful stuff I could add. Another beacon. Inventory full. Yeah. I need to drop some. I'm gonna drop this rock. What are these? Glow sticks! Inventory full. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna drop these fucking things in here. I prefer the glow sticks to your goddamn light anyway, so happy days. Of course it wasn't going to be that easy. I tried sending a basic emergency message. But the subject signal was too weak. I jumped the gun, need to find better, proper parts so that I can boost the signal and find a way to make a more sophisticated message. Ah, water bottles. Yuri was chilling here for a while. Oh, I've got two balls in my hand. Yuri! Are you still alive? Buddy! Oh, Yuri, dude. Didn't make it. Only thinking that the narcissist would be alone. That slots are with you. Sorry I left what I was. Fifteen years. The trauma of leaving, I regret it all. I regret not being able to spend my final moments with you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Damn, man! Flashlight! Inventory full. Well, in that case, uh, let us drop something important. And yeah, we need this. Operator health improved.
How do I know how to just stay awake? Wounds really beginning to take their toll. Stomach infection especially. I only hope God was to keep writing and that someone will find this journal. Trying to prolong my life in ink. Thank God for improving. What was it? Impervious paper? So that's the explanation for why the paper still managed to survive. I want to see, was it imp Uh, come on, speed up. Impervious paper. One can't stop looking at one's wounds. Human condition. Fascination with the morbid. But the smell is something no one could possibly ignore. And no, I never knew an injury could produce such a stench when they had meds. Perhaps if the person in the drop pod is alive. Oh! Dude! You've been waiting for me! Then between my reality and my imagination is becoming blurry. I thought I had written more detailed entries about how I'm building the communications tower. Was that in my head? Did I lose those pages? Did I somehow once say that imagination is a survival mechanism? Okay. Parts to upgrade the mag transmitter. Sharp rock. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here. Looks like there's actually stuff leading down this way. Yeah, that's a glowy rock. Oh, dude! Lost artifact. Woo! No percentage of protection. Just me being a, in a, me going for a walk. Oh, cool. Buffs. Alright, it's getting snowy and cold out here. The elders speak of when the metal snakes were, were, were lame. Silver tubes which pulse with energy and spread warmth like veins. It's way to our homes. Alright, okay, cool. So they actually industrialized the shit out of places. Yeah, I do not want to be out in this weather, so I'm going to move like a motherfucker. Even though there's a stone hinge. He's shipped over there. I think I'm good. Woo! Her! Damn! Oh, shit! This is essentially the game just vibrated to the point where it just killed my controller. Okay. And we're back.
Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. It's on the gives heat. It's <coughs> it like temperature zero. Oh, what, what, what? what? Right, uh, put you on the grind. Take the lighter out. Light. Yeah, I know, I know! I know, I know! God damn it! Yes, I know hyperthermia is going to solely... Is that helping? Oh, god damn it. I need a proper fire. Where can I find a proper fire? What is that? Is that water? No. I need to find a proper source of heat. Come on. Oh! Yeah, I'm trying to fix problem, dude. Operator, health levels. Uh. Ugh. <sighs> nope, do not go down there. Do you have anything else to eat? Are okay. That was stupid. Why the hell did I do that? Wet. Yes, I know I'm wet. At least I'm not bloody cold though. So I need to get up there, essentially. Can I get over? Yeah, I know hypothermia is affecting Short of sleep. It's true. You know what? I'm gonna go into that eat caverns based on how she found. Let me a chance to get a rest. Yes, I know I'm not I'm tired. I know I'm tired. Let's go in here. See if there's enough space. Oi. Fall asleep with a torch in my hand. Sleep quality good. All right, that wasn't bad. Right. Well, anyway, got a torch for the daytime. You get around to this around here, so we're just gonna take a long walk. Must be another way into cavern. 
games I did the last time, rather than actually being out here the entire time. Pretty sure sun exposure in the morning is going to be bad here. Yeah, it is too hot. Ugh. Where is her music playing? Objective reminder. Locate materials for satellite uplink. One of the seventeen. <sighs> Fantastic, we got a mixed tip. Right, we got a tire part. We got a piece of the comm tire. At least this keeps us entertained with music. It is hot out. It is super hot. Getting ourselves into coverage of some sort. That is fluctuating in the heat. I need to get into cover somewhere. That is just increasing. There's a music box. I know, I need to turn that off now because it's like just being distracting. Um, I'm gonna be going in this way. I might to get in there. Question. Oh, great. No cavern down here. Let's get into the shade for a little while because that is unbearably hot and there might be someone in here in the shade. There we go. A little bit better. No? Really? <laughs> so I need to be heading up north here, essentially. Stop! Whoa! Is that something that's going to crash, or is that a star that's really close by? I mean, tail. Yeah, there has to be a certain cavern that I can walk into from down here. I have a feeling that there is. I don't know why. Okay. How are you making progress here? I want to find a cavern in. I want to get the hell out of this sunlight. It is bright, it is hot as balls, it is not pleasant. Oh. 
Uh, uh. All that climbing's not gonna help. So I'm wondering, is this redstone rock because it's actually, like, cooked? Or is it just because... Shit, man, you can actually see the steam rising off the sea. That's actually a, that's a nice little touch. Um, I meant to be going up. Heat stroke imminent. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to be the case. Oh, come on! I'm, I'm going to go and chill out in the dark. So maybe we'll actually like let some time pass. Um, we'll let ourselves cool down because I'm going to be out of water fairly soon, and that is going to be a bad, bad. It's going to be bad news, bears. Oh shit! Who knows about that? <sighs> so we're running low on calories. We don't have any food. I mean. Use this to get my temperature down again. But well, we are kind of like in a doomsday scenario here a little bit. What do I do? There appears to be a campsite up there. If I can make it to that, then that is where we bow down for the night. And maybe where we'll finish the game for today. I'm going to aim for that. Because if we go for that, then, oh man, the problem is I am now so, so below where I need to be. We have to climb up hill to get to it. Where was that? God, I can't even find where that site was now. This could be the end of our adventure. What's it? Where is this? Where was that campsite listed as? It is hot as fuck. Oh, creepy monster. Let's see, can I see where it was from here? It doesn't say. I just backtracked there in the heat. No apparent reason other than the. Didn't really need to. Ugh. Wait, this looks like a good sign. This looks like a great sign. No matter what, at least it'll be cover. Oh, the shit is nice. Well, wherever it is that we need to go over there, we're going to go here first. Woo! Backpack! Woo! Oh, that was glorious. Oh, another water bottle. Yeah, we're gonna need more of that shit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need you. Uh, what is that? Oh, another sword. Yeah, very nice. And more you. Food! Mm-mm-mm! Mm-mm-mm! Oh, that was so worth it. Right, so maybe this is actually where we can put our layer ahead. Never fun. We'll fill up our water supplies and then we'll. Oh, God. Is this drinkable? How is it drinkable? There's a dead body in it! It's so weird to put a rock around their waist as well. Alright, uh, whatever. As long as it says it's drinkable, I'll. <laughs> I'll trust the computer that says it's drinkable. You get hallucinations from, like, dead body juice. Alright, that's what's filled up with water anyway. Boom. Ourselves open, okay. So, guys, uh, we're going to take a wee snooze, and then we're actually in the shade. And uh, I think that'll actually be where we'll call it a day for, um... Solace project for the first time we've been playing through it. I'll be coming back to this. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think of Solace. Uh, this has been an adventure and a half to actually kind of like discover the first uh, life that was on this planet. Uh, I didn't even pay attention to the skelly man that actually had the busted up skull. We found Yuri, the only other survivor. Obviously, he sadly passed away as well. So we're back to being all alone, but at least we've actually got a plan. We've got some bits and pieces. We've got some of the parts we need to make communication start and warn them. 
about what's going on on this planet. So we've got more of an adventure ahead of us if anybody else is up for joining me. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been the Souls Project, like I said. This has also been on Past T-Shift Skin. If you actually enjoyed watching this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button or the follow button or whatever like button that actually may be required for this particular method that you are watching this on. Or if you don't do any of that, that's okay. Just remember the name, Past T-Shift Skin. Search for it, look for it. It's easy to keep you entertained. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. I'm here to entertain you. Do so you look for me, I entertain you. That's how this process works. So outside of that, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, There'll be a button up there I'd really like you to press. And over here will actually be a playlist of other things done here on the channel. Over the far side will actually be the most recent video on the channel. Over there. Oh yeah. And then over the far side there'll be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on user analytics and things they do on YouTube and all the things they keep track of whenever you're making use of it. This will pick a video of the things that I've made that you should check out. And if you check that out, I'm one to be bet you're probably going to enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, comment underneath it as well. Tell me what you think. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.